Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And if it's not, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I am transforming thrift store items for you and they are beautiful. So let's get started. I found these two candle holders at the thrift store and I thought they were pretty neat with all the details. So I'm flipping them upside down and I'm going to apply um, a good chunk of some permanent glue on both of these candles. And then I'm gonna come and apply some hot glue as I want some instant hold to be able to continue with my project right away. I got these little, um, they look like a little plate of some sort or coaster. So I'm simply uh, turning them upside down and gluing the candlestick to them. These are nice and glued together very well. So now the next step will be to give these a good wash before painting. These are washed and dried, and now I'm using some clear Rust-Oleum protector. I'm going to give a good coat of that, and it's going to be followed by two coats of this white chalk paint in linen white, and I'm going to allow to dry in between. Both of my candle holders are nice and dried and it turned out really nice. So now I'm using my antique wax with my wax brush and I'm going to put some of that all over the candle holder. I want to make sure to apply this wax in the crease of these details. Now both of my pieces are waxed. I'm using some paper towel and removing some of this wax off to bring back some of the white. But I want to make sure that I keep that wax into the crease to really define those details. And this is what they look like all done. I think they turned out fabulous. And here is the final result displayed with some candles and I think they turned out very nice and I love the Victorian look to it. I also got these two wall pieces at the thrift store. They were an ugly yellowish orangey color. So I did the same step with the clear protector and two coats of white spray paint. And now I'm applying some of my antique wax to give me the exact same look as my previous project.
I went in the garage and picked up a piece of pine board that I had and now I'm going to stain this pine board with my Alexandria uh, colored stain and I'm going to give one good coat all the way around. Now I'm just taking an old rag and wiping some of this stain off. I'm taking a ruler and measuring one inch to the end of the board and this is where I'm going to glue uh, my bottom part to it. I'm using some permanent Gorilla Glue and I'm also going to use some hot glue so that I can have an instant hole for the moment. And I'm going to repeat on the other side. And here is the final result for my shelf. How beautiful these color blend together. The Alexandria color along with the antique wax is the perfect blend for this shelf. I picked up this candle holder base at the thrift store and got one of those birds uh, at the dollar store in the garden section and I thought they were super cute. So I'm going to glue this bird on top of this candle holder base with some permanent Gorilla Glue uh, and I'm also going to use some hot glue for some instant holes so I can keep working on this project. Now I'm using some of my white linen Rustoleum chalk paint. I'm giving two coats of this paint allowing to dry in between. Now I could have spray painted this piece with um, some of the same chalk paint in the spray can but I ran out and I didn't want to leave my project to go to the store so I'm just using this one and brushing it on. Now I'm using my hair dryer to speed up the drying process. This piece is nice and dry and like the other pieces, I'm applying this wax, making sure I go into the creases and the details. And I'm not gonna bore you with this because it's the same thing over and over. So um, you get the idea at this point.
and here is the final result this looks very high-end i'm really loving the result and the detail in this bird you can really make beautiful projects with this antiquing wax uh, here are my projects all together how beautiful are they and if you like this project and you like this video please give me the big thumbs up i want to hear your comments in the comment box down below and if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel and you like what you see well today is a perfect day to hit that subscribe button until next time folks you have yourself a wonderful day